Now this is a clip just on wave 18 once the um, all of the rest of the husks have jumped down in there already and they're already stuck in the jail but this is just showing where the boss goes so the boss is going to head off the side and then walks over here and doink in the lava he goes. Hey everybody we are here at this lava geyser amp. Now the plan for this amplifier is to it's similar to the zero trap geyser build that I wanted to do before and what the aim is going to be is that most of this is going to be zero traps sort of pathing this all the way down to the geyser however the thing that I'm using this time is we're kind of jail building the rest of the husks within this little area so we'll see if we come down towards here so oh wait, I'll, I'll do the uh, rest of the base first so if we come over towards the spawn what we're going to notice is so they'll be spawning all along here and they are going to walk into this area now all of this is just blocked off quite neatly and it's just allowing them very easily to get along this line now this line just lines up nicely here these pieces of the floor are very important as these are going to be the dividing factor between the propane and the main husks so what's going to happen when they jump down here is that there's a little section here as well as there's like more block off through here and this is all just block off here as well but as they come down here they're going to walk across this half once they've walked across this half this is where they're going to split the propane are going to be drawn down towards the end there well as the ramp to go down to the geyser so if we just go there now they're going to be drawn over here however what I have them do is actually jump off the edge here and they will come round to this side and want to throw their propane tanks up at these walls now once they do this what the propane tank is going to do is it's just going to hit the wall bounce up and down two three times and it will have a chance to be able to get hit by one of these anti-air traps now the way that the propane also is still going to work is that their aggro is still going to be drawn towards the structures nearest the amplifier but the thing is with the amplifier we're currently using one of my smasher bridges or which also works with bosses and also propane alike they share somewhat the same sort of kind of ai and will be drawn to the structures since that's their primary goal so once they have thrown oh i should go back down here once they have thrown their propane and had the propane lost they won't run to the base and despawn at the base to damage it no what they're going to do is come up these stairs and try to take the well, i can't cut that but they'll try and take this pathway and come over here once they come here they're going to hit the geyser and the reason why they are trying to come here is because they want to take this pathway up the stairs over the top to try and reach this wall since they no longer have a propane they can no longer aerial attack it and try and do a ranged attack much like smashes as well um, smashes only have a reach up of the singular tile so they wouldn't really be able to hit the walls from here maybe if they sort of got the point to come here but what they're going to be wanting to do is taking this walkway coming up and hitting this wall here and then this and that one but yeah so this is how to kill the smashers the boss and the propane reason being is because what's happening is these are wall number well these would be like three and four and the aim is to use the aggro walls within the range of the base to then draw the aggro there now however since i used to use a build which had a wall on the geyser which was this one which would be like this this would be wall number so if we count away we'd have the one then the two the three the four the five the six the seven and like eight i think it's about eight so that would be about eight so you wouldn't be able to have any structures anywhere within like the eight range of the base including some of these connecting up here where i used to have this kind of this structure wasn't here and it was kind of like a block off pyramid but yeah but by having this um the actual aggro wall which is we're using which is closest to the amp is are these ones which are within on the free the wall free aggro so the only way to actually get to them is by this floor 
um, pathway, which means much like if you're on dodgy terrain. So if we go over to like another amplifier, just to make this point. So if I went up to, let's say this. Okay, so if we went over to hill, there is currently this section of the floor where they would actually path to. So even though they could have like a nice straight line here, this is the only way they can kind of go. So they're, they're gonna be pathing straight up here to get to where they need to get to. It's much the same when it comes to these player built structures because this is their pathway to get there. They will be drawn into this corner here, but they'll also bypass this geyser. And that is going to be how to kill them. Now, if you want to be also building it for the travel, what we're going to be doing is putting this up here, three, four, five. So these ramps are going to be placed on the fifth one up. Now, this is going to make sure that when we want to travel by this geyser, we can go up to hill. We can come this way. We can travel over to valley if we've done it by a hoverboard we can get over to beach and also we can get over towards devil amp so this will just get us towards devil so if we want to go pit or devil we can fling ourselves over here um, using this jump pad if we also then really want to quickly get over to what's this ridge so we'll just return back to there now to the lover. I'm gonna put a banner here just in case. I'll kill myself in the lava. Yeah, um, another mistake I did do is, well, make sure that this wall isn't poking out and covering like this, because they can clip it from below and bounce their heads into that wall there, stopping the actual catapult. So this is what the end looks like. Now, if we actually so yeah, it's just, so getting on with this bit near the geyser, how this is gonna be done is underneath, we also then have these pyramid pieces underneath the stairs. So with the floors, you're gonna be piecing out one floor from the corner, so one flat, and then you're gonna be putting the two ramps. Now, the way that this would originally work is you could have problems with things wanting to break through here. However, if you put these pyramid like Dorito pieces attached underneath the ramps they won't then be trying to break through the ramps because they don't want to be landing onto this. Originally I didn't actually think this was going to work it's just an idea I thought because they didn't like trying it and it seemed to work on, on three occasions um, each and every time that I tried it and didn't not do it once so if it does fail then I'm, I'm sorry but uh, it, it's been working on each of those three occasions that I tested it. So I decided to add these into the build. But yeah, again, quickly, if I wanted to get over to Devil Amp, this would get me all the way over to Devil. And then I can jump on here and be on the amp. So yeah, th that was how the Smashers, the Propane and the Mini Boss will react while going to the Geyser. The Smashers will go straight up this pathway because they can't have any ranged attack to hit the walls which are here, as well as the Mini Boss, so they'll go straight in the Geyser. But the Propane will go over there, throw their Propane because they have a ranged attack to destroy the wall over there. It will get destroyed by this, but they're still going to have their aggro drawn up because their purpose is to destroy the walls around the Amp. So they'll still come up here and try to get to it since they no longer have a ranged attack. Now we're just going to show you what happens for the rest of the husks. So the normal husks will be spawning up here and they will want to come down and path down here. Now this is the area much where they all split off. They're going to be wandering down here. Now the small husks and the normal husks, everything else that's trying to go to the actual amplifier to despawn onto it and do it damage, they're going to be want to take this pathway through this wall. Now it's very important that you make this wall out of brick or wood, something that's going to get destroyed first. And it's just something that you want to make sure you replace after the wave's done so that it doesn't affect hill, which I'll get onto in another one. Now once they decide to start break hitting on one of these two walls, this one will always get broken first and then they will jump down here to 
try and take this sort of quick route to get to the amplifier. Now, the only thing is, this is in jail. So, much like many of you are familiar with jails, this is my own version of uh, a jail, which is also an inside out jail. Now, what this is going to, how this is, <clears throat> sorry, how this is going to work is that this is designed to just keep them in here, but this will be a launcher, launcher, and a launcher. So, this will be a three times um, to reload. This will be a slower reload by one. You want this to trigger less frequently and, and you want to have all these launchers going off at different times. This floor launcher can be like a four times or a five times impact, or you can even try and get it with then the one reload or no reload, in which case it will be five impact and have different reloads to the launchers, or you can do four impact and one times reload to get more frequent going off. When the floor launcher goes off, it's going to be hitting them up towards this ceiling. Now, these wall lights are placed here. Now, these wall lights being one away from the top of the ceiling means that when they pass up to hit the ceiling and then pass back down, the time it takes for them to travel up to there and not back down is in line with the time it takes for these to actually trigger properly and actually hit the hus, since there's like a delay from the hus passing through it to then triggering the activation and doing the effect. Now we're going to, yes, and that will then stun them midair as they fall. Secondly, we also then have these sound walls. The sound walls just need to be double reload and you can just put all durability for the rest of them. Stun lights will also be double reload, free impact and one effect duration. This is to basically make the effect last longer as well as then just a, yeah, do more impact. Now, the secret to this is also on what's outside. So if we go onto the outside of this little jail box, we're gonna see the inverted jail box. Now, down here, when they actually drop down, you'll see that there's traps on the outside. Now, when a husk or either gets launched against that wall, or tries to like hit into it, everything on that kind of area will then get frozen by the freeze. So everything right pushed up against this wall will get frozen when the trigger of the freeze goes off, as well as this side as well. This side will be a lot commonly easier to go off because as the husk will hit the wall, you'll actually notice that their hands pass through the wall a little bit whenever a husk hits the wall. So it will trigger the wall lights and the freeze to both go off acting like an extra secondary activation of traps to try and stun anything which gets a chance to hit the walls. This is great because the ones inside are aiming at keeping them sort of stuck in and the ones on the outside try to stun them. As well as a wall launcher here, this wall launcher should have some sort of, if you can, try and put HP regeneration or building health on this as well as HP regeneration or building health on this to use in line with the base. Now, the base positioning, as I just showed in this room, which would be right beside the this one, you can put the base in here. Now, this will allow each bit to get connected as well as also covering the block off. So it will boost all of this block off as well as connect down here. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and then we extend out to then cover the five and also out to this. Now, that kind of covers that. Um, yeah. And then for the block off, the rest of the block off, we've just got the, once you've got the drop down, so if I put this back, here's the little hole, the little, the half block off and the walls. And then we're just going to have walls going all the way across to the side. And then it's just floor pieces, okay? Floor pieces under all of these. And then we're just going to put cones on top. These are all just out of the strongest materials to make sure they're deterred away from jumping or trying to break down through this area. Then we also have some extra walls in here to make sure they just don't even think about trying to pass on to this area as well. And as you see under this section is just the solid ground. So yeah, and that is the like the inside out jail almost. So yeah, 
I hope you've um, liked this build. Oh, and then the flingers and the lobbers. The flingers and the lobbers, because of the way this is built, and it doesn't really use much in the terms of traps, you don't have to commit too much for being anti-lobbers or anti-flingers. This whole thing going across, because it matches in line with this terrain, you'll see that this um, completely stops flingers and lobbers from being able to fling. Meaning that the only way that they can try and fling is by trying to come down here, which will be trying to come to this guy's area, but what they'll want to do is the flingers will try and path through, they'll want to come through this cave, or they'll path through here anyways. But yeah, they'll come down here and they'll want to try and get an angle at the side. Oh, come on game. <laughs> and uh, yes, I'm missing a bit. So we can do that. And then when they're trying to path rounds to this area, they're going to end up pathing over the geyser and getting flung off. So it's a, it's a great way just to take them out as well because they'll just they'll they'll walk around here to their own doom thinking that they can walk over here and throw. So yeah, and then these sand walls are just on the side of this ramp, just just to make sure if anything does try and whack it, which doesn't happen since I added the Doritos underneath, and then just simple walls at the bottom here, just to make it a smooth edge when they fall down. Oh, and then this low wall as well is also quite important so that it um, they, um, they're they not going to try and path into there. And it also means you can still use the bounce pad to get about. Now, yeah, uh, this little piece, you must also have this as like a low wall. This is just to make sure that anything that does pass through here doesn't cut the corner ever and that it has to make enough of a distance over the geyser to still get launched. Then we left this bit clear above with these ramps or the pyramid bit there, which are then five tiles up. And these are just going to make sure that the um, smashers or the propane or whatever comes across has a nice clear area above here to get launched. So when they walk across here, there's nothing in their way to get launched. Now, yeah, um, I'll just, yeah, so one also, when they're pathing up this ramp, what the pathway is going to be like is when they path up here, they also have wall launchers here. So if anything does ever come across, which I'm thinking, honestly, I'm just going to delete these and remove them um, because we've got the geyser set up proper now. Um, I can probably end up deleting these, but I have these in case. Now, they're this way because these smashers are going to try and hug this wall a fair bit, so they'll get knocked off a lot easier because they can get knocked about half a tile to about 75% of a tile when they get hit. And then the propane will just come here and just get launched into the lava whenever they path up here. So it's just an extra row of defense. Now, yeah, I honestly hope you've liked this build. And yeah. I hope to see you in the next one for the footage about the hill. So 